Hello, so today I just want to share with you the scents that I wore for May of 2023. So to start out the month, I used Ice Sugar Plum and I paired it with Yara by Latafa. So Ice Sugar Plum is basically just a marshmallow scent. That is the only scent note that I smell in it. It smells nice. It's really faint though, but it's just like sweetness. I don't know how else to explain it. And I paired it with Yara, which is like a fruity, sweet scent. So it was just like a nice, sweet, fruity kind of day. I don't know. It wasn't spectacular, but I enjoyed it. This is the first time I had tried the Yara since I bought it, and I actually enjoy it quite a bit. So this one was nice. So next I paired my Ice Sugar Plum with Hey Sweetie by Dua. So this is their dupe for Oriana by Parfums de Marly. I've never actually smelt that one, so I don't know like how close this one is, but I can say this is a really nice scent. It's very strong. Like it lasted all day. So it has a bunch of notes in it. It's like marshmallow, bergamot, raspberry, orange blossom, grapefruit, mandarin orange, musk. Like there's just a whole bunch of notes in it. But it's really, really nice. It's very sweet. But it's not like childish sweet. It's like sweet grown up. And it's strong. It lasted all day. I have no complaints about this one at all. And the ice sugar plum kind of helped mellow it out a little bit. Because it added that like extra layer of marshmallowy sweetness it was really really nice so the next thing i decided to use is watermelon lemonade i think most people know what watermelon lemonade smells like it just smells like watermelon lemonade <laughs> i mean it's sweet it's fun summery it does have a little bit of a floral note in it i know that it doesn't say it on the notes but if you look at the old packaging it's on there i think it's like poppies or something like that and you can smell it in the lotion. I can't really smell it in the spray, but I can smell it in the lotion. So I decided to pair it with Melon Soda by Sugar Milk Co., which is just as a sweet melon fizzy kind of smell. It's really nice. I enjoy it a lot. And then I used my Limoncello Sorbet by Gourmand Beauty. So this was just a sweet lemon, kind of like a lemon vanilla type of scent. It was really nice. It didn't last long because Gourmand Beauty scents don't last very long, but the whole thing together was really great. So next up, I paired my watermelon lemonade with melon soda again by Sugar Milk Co. And then I paired it with Escada Sorbeto Rosso. I love this perfume. It is so delicious. It is watermelon, but it has a little bit of floral in it. Like, it's just perfect. It's like the perfect girl scent for like a summery day. It's not too heavy. It's not like overpowering, but it just smells absolutely delicious. And... This is something I would definitely repurchase. I haven't ran out of it yet, but it's getting close because these are at the toilets, so they don't last as long. So you do have to spray them a lot, but I have no regrets about this perfume. I absolutely adore it. And together, this was perfect. So next, I moved on to Peach Prosecco Macaron. This is like the most delicious peach scent that Bath & Body Works has ever made. It smells like a peach cobbler, like peach cookies. Like it is absolutely delicious. Sometimes peach can go terribly wrong, but this one does not. This one is so good. And I decided to pair it with my Sweet Vanilla by Montal, which just is like vanilla and apricot, I do believe. And it is so good. It just adds an extra layer of like vanilla, warm deliciousness to this already sweet peach Prosecco macaron. Ugh, this was so good. Loved it. So next, I paired Peach Prosecco Macaron with my Vanille Apricot by Comptour Sub Pacifique. So this does smell a lot like the Sweet Vanilla by Montal. It's just not as strong. Like, it smells just as delicious, but it's not as, like, in your face. So this is an Eau Toilette, so it's a little bit lighter. But I love this scent, and this is actually the second bottle that I, that I purchased, and I have no regrets. This was a beautiful combination, and I smelled delicious all day long. My next scent is Golden Pear by Pink. So this was just like pear and honey. It smelled really nice, but it was a very light fragrance. Like I paired it with my Honey Pear Bubble Tea by Sugar Milk Co., which is kind of just a spicy pear honey scent. It's really nice. I thought it went really well with this. And then I paired on top of that La Belle by Jean Paul Gaultier. So this is a pear fragrance, but it's very strong. So it kind of like overpowered the Golden Pear. But the golden pear kind of made it a little bit more sweet. So it was, all in all, it was really nice. I liked it. So next I paired golden pear again with the honey pear bubble tea by Sugar Milk Co. To kind of give it that extra kick that it needs. 
and then I paired Pear Blossom by Mix Bar on top of it, which is a very strong scent. So again, overpowered the Golden Pear, which is really light, but it kind of just gives it added sweetness because Pear Blossom is a, kind of actually a really fresh scent. Like it smells a lot like Beautiful Day or DKNY's Be Delicious, the Green Apple, and those are very like fresh apple -y scents, and this kind of gave it a little bit of extra sweetness. It was nice. So next I moved on to Gingham Love, which I have a love-hate relationship with it. Sometimes I really like it. Sometimes I want to throw it all in the trash. You know, like I like the berries that are in it and I can handle the rose and meringue, but sometimes the rose meringue is to be too much. So I've discovered that it's too much in the body cream. I like it in the spray and in the perfume, but I'm not a fan of the body cream. I haven't tried the lotion yet, so we'll have to try that and see how it is. But I decided to pair it with Strawberry Cereal by Sugar Milk Co., which is actually a really nice scent. It just smells like a sweet strawberry with kind of like some odiness in it. You know what I mean? Like the little, like the cereal smell. I guess that's like corn or something. I don't know. But you know what I mean. And then I paired it with Glitter Fantasy by Britney Spears, which is just a really nice strawberry fragrance. So this one was really nice. I enjoyed it, even though by the end of the day, I was tired of smelling Gingham Love, but... You know, I enjoyed it while I had it on. So next, I paired Gingham Love again with the Strawberry Cereal by Sugar Milk Co. And I decided to pair it with Brazilian Crush 68 by Sol de Janeiro. So I actually bought this one by mistake. I don't know, I was maybe half asleep or something. When I ordered it online, I thought I was buying 40. And then it came in the mail and it was not 40. <laughs> so this one smells a lot like In the Stars, but it has like more fruitiness to it. Like I'm not a big fan of In the Stars because it kind of has like the same DNA as like Cloud or like Baccarat Rouge or anything like that. Like I'm not a fan of that. But this one is okay. It's not my favorite Sol de Janeiro and I definitely won't repurchase this when I actually finish this bottle up. But I can handle it. And it actually went really nice with the Gang of Love. So... I have no regrets about that. And I was glad to actually get some use out of my 68. So next I moved on to Sugar Cherry Crisp, which is the best cherry scent that they have ever made. It smells just like a cherry pie. It is absolutely delicious and I am obsessed. So I decided to pair it with Double Cherry Cupcake by Sugar Milk Co. I have all these Sugar Milk Co. oils, so I'm really trying to use them more so that they're not just sitting there. Like, I don't want them to just go bad because I forgot about them. So this one was really nice. It was just like a sweet cherry cupcake. It smelled really nice. And I used my Vanille by Outdreamer. And this is like the perfect vanilla scent. I compare this with anything and it will smell amazing. It is strong. It is affordable. It is perfection. And together, this was delicious. Next, I paired my Sugar Cherry Crisp with, again with the Double Cherry Cupcake by Sugar Milk Co. And then I used my Kaoli Vanilla 28, which I feel like most people know what Vanilla 28 smells like if you're in the fragrance world. So this is just a beautiful vanilla, but it has extra to it. Like it's a little spicy and it's a little bit more grown up. And so this was like my grown up cherry pie scent. It was really nice. I loved it. Definitely do it again. So next, I moved on to Firecracker Pop, which is like... The quintessential perfect summer scent. It's sweet and it's light and it's just fun. I don't know. I absolutely love this scent. And I decided to pair it with Snow Cone by Sugar Milk Co. Which is like cherry and lemon. It's really nice. It does kind of just smell like a snow cone. <laughs> I don't know. It was nice though. And I decided to pair that on top of that. My Kaoli Love Fest Burning Cherry. Which is just another like adding more cherry to this whole mix. But it's like a spicy cherry. So it's not just like a sweet cherry, but this was really nice together. And I was outside all day wearing this and the heat definitely made it so it was a lot more strong. It was great. My next combo was coconut cream pie, which I adore. It's like the best gourmand coconut scent. Like you can smell the toasted coconut. You can smell the caramel. You can smell the pie crust. Like it is just delicious. Like if you are a gourmand lover, this is a scent that you need. I know it didn't come back this year, which is actually really surprising. I'm shocked, actually, because it's so popular. And I decided to pair it with my Banana Milk Oil by Sugar Milk Co., which just smells like a sweet banana. It's really good. It has a little bit of spice in it, though, so like cinnamon or something. I don't know, but it's really good. 
And on top of that, I layered my banana foster by Dua, which is like a caramel banana. And this was delicious. Like if Bath and Body Works isn't going to give me a banana cream pie scent, then I guess I'm just going to make my own. And this was delicious. So next with my coconut cream pie, I again used the banana milk by Sugar Milk Co. And then on top of that, I put my Eilish by Billie Eilish. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I am obsessed with this scent. It is just a, the prettiest vanilla with a little bit of spice. It is so nice. It doesn't last as long as I would hope it would, but you know, it's a celebrity fragrance, so you gotta take what you can get. But I adore this scent. It is delicious. And together, this was really great. So again, with the coconut cream pie, I paired it with Skylar Vanilla Sky. So when I first got this perfume, I really loved it. But honestly, I forget about it. I have so many other vanillas that I love now that I kind of just push this one to the back. It's like a vanilla cappuccino scent. It's really nice, but it is one of those clean fragrances. So if I don't use it like soon, it might go bad because they don't last as long. Like their shelf life isn't as long as like a normal perfume. But this one is nice. It doesn't last a long time though. And I think that's my complaint with it. So I oversprayed it a lot and I'm going to start, you know, when I do use it, I'm going to start maybe spraying it throughout the day more so that I can use it up faster. But this one was nice. No complaints. So next I moved on to fresh coconut colada. So this is a very tropical scent. It's like coconut rum and hibiscus. It's a nice scent. It's not my favorite scent. But I do enjoy it, at least once a year, maybe. <laughs> and I decided to pair it with my Ariana Grande Cloud, mainly because I wanted to use it up. I've had it sitting in my collection for a while, and it's not one of my favorites. So I just grabbed it, decided to use it with this, and it was okay. You know, nothing to complain about. So next, I paired my Fresh Coconut Colada with Sugarful Sunshine by Michelle Germain. So this is just like a sweet pineapple scent. It's really nice. And together with the tropicalness of the fresh coconut colada, it was great. I, I really like this one. This one was nice. So next I moved on to strawberry pound cake, which is my favorite scent. It's just strawberry cakey deliciousness. There's nothing else to say about it. <laughs> I decided to pair it with my Mimic strawberry milk. So this is their dupe for Cry Baby by Melanie Martinez, which I've never smelt the original. But I do have a dupe of the same perfume by Okja, and they don't smell the same. So I don't know which one smells more like the original, but I like this one better than I like the Okja version. So it's just like a sweet strawberry scent. It's really, really nice. It's almost like a strawberry milkshake. It was delicious. So together, this was great. So next, I paired my strawberry pound cake with Nebras by Latafa, which is basically... Eilish by Billie Eilish. It smells exactly the same. This one has better lasting power though, so a plus for, for that. But this was delicious together. I've paired Eilish with strawberry pound cake before, so I knew it was already going to smell great. So nothing else to say about that other than try it if you have it. So next I moved on to Basic Vanilla by Pink, which is just marshmallow and chai, I believe. So it basically smells like white pumpkin and chai by Bath and Body Works without the pumpkin. It's a really nice scent. I really enjoy it. And I decided to pair it with my Fancy by Jessica Simpson just because I haven't worn it in a while. So I wore this one a lot in the winter, I feel like. And I hadn't pulled it out in a while. And this is like a wintry kind of scent. And so this was nice. Um, I don't love Fancy by Jessica Simpson, but I can appreciate it. Like I can smell the caramel, but it's still a little bit flowery. I don't know. It's a good scent. And this was nice together. So next, with my basic vanilla, I paired it with my Italian cello by Okja, which is their dupe for Lyra by Zhirzhov. So I actually have the original Lyra, but I bought this one first. So I wanted to make sure I actually liked it before I spent the money on the real one. So this one is really nice. It's like a lemon caramel scent. It's really good. Like if you're a gourmand lover and you can find it on sale... I don't think you'll be disappointed in adding the vanilla with a little bit of spice in there. It was really great. I moved on next to vanilla coconut, which is just exactly what you think it would be. <laughs> it's vanilla and coconut. It's sweet. It's delicious. It's so summery perfect. I love it. And I decided to pair it with my Fame by Paco Rabanne, which is like a mango coconut scent. 
I had just got this one, so I definitely wanted to try it out, and I figured it would go great with vanilla coconut. So this one's actually pretty strong, this perfume. I like it. I know a lot of people are kind of on the fence about it, but I really enjoy it. It does smell a lot like Alien Goddess, which I have that one too, but I like this one better, probably because it has the mango in it. But this was really great. So next, I paired my vanilla coconut with my Brazilian Crush Rosa 39 by Sol de Janeiro, which I'm using sparingly because they decided to discontinue this, and I have absolutely no idea why. This is like such a good, delicious coconut scent. It is sweet, but it's not overpowering. It's not fake. Oh, it's so good, and I can't believe they got rid of it. Disgraceful. <laughs> but this was so nice together. I love this one. So my next one I used is Bright Christmas Morning. So this is a scent that came out at Christmas time, but to me it doesn't smell Christmassy. Like it's just like a fruit bomb. Like there's, it's really strong and it's just very fruity. I like it. I think it's great. And so I decided to pair it with my Dazzle by Paris Hilton, which is like a peachy, fizzy scent. I don't know. It's a good one. It's an affordable one. It has a really cute bottle. So this was nice together. No complaints. So the last pairing for my Bright Christmas Morning, I used Charosa 40 by Sol de Janeiro, which is like a plum vanilla fragrance. I love this one. This one is the best. Like, they need to make a perfume in this. I mean, obviously 71 is the best, but okay, this is like number two, in my opinion. And they need to make a perfume in this, like stat. Get on that, Sol de Janeiro. But this was great. I mean, it kind of just added more, like, warmth to it with that vanilla plum in there so it kind of took away from the sharpness so this one's you know bright christmas morning's kind of a sharp scent because it has like orange and stuff in it like but with the vanilla and the plum it kind of mellowed it out it was really great so next i moved on to champagne toast i love champagne toast to me it's just such a pretty scent like it's just a people pleaser scent like i don't think people smell this and can't stand it you know like if you're wearing this people aren't going to be offended by it it's just beautiful it's sweet. It's a little bubbly. It's really great. And I used my Champagne Toast Perfume. And then I used my Mad Love by Katy Perry. So this is like a sweet strawberry scent. And it's kind of like a hidden gem that I had forgotten about in my collection. And so I'm glad I pulled it out and paired it with this. It went really, really nice. So next I paired my Champagne Toast with my Eden Juicy Apple which is one of my favorite Cali fragrances. Like, this one is just so pretty. I know people say it smells like a glorified body spray, but you know what? I'm here for it. To me, it smells delicious. And together with Champagne Toast, it was really nice. Like, it just kind of gave Champagne Toast that more fruity vibe that it needed. And this was really pretty. So my next layering combination was Champagne Toast along with my lovely Cherry by Maison Alhambra. This is basically their dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I mean, they even copied the bottle, so they're not even trying to hide the fact of what they're doing, right? I really like this. So, the Lovely Cherry is a very, like, cherry woody scent, and the Champagne Toast kind of, like, subdued that woodiness a little bit. Because sometimes it's a little too woody for me. Like, on dry down, I don't smell that woodiness, but, like, on initial shot, woo! Wood central. And... But the Champagne Toast made it really nice. And it was kind of just like a citrusy, cherry, bubbly scent. It was really great. So my last combination of the month, I decided to wear a pink watermelon blast, which is my favorite watermelon scent that Bath & Body Works has ever made. It smells just like candy. It is so delicious. And I am obsessed. So I decided to pair it with my Boardwalk Delight by Skylar, which is like a coconut, raspberry, cotton candy scent. It is so good. I love this scent. And I can't get enough of it. Like when I was spraying this, I was just going to town. I'm like, it's a clean fragrance. I need to use it up anyway. So <laughs> I was just spraying like there was no tomorrow. And together, this was just so good. It was just like a sweet bomb of like watermelon and cotton candy. Oh, perfection. So that is all of my layering combinations that I use for May of 2023. Let me know what you're wearing. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.